Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to make your press on nails last for weeks and weeks. So instead of going to the salon to get your nails done and paying way too much money, go out and get you some full covered nails. They do not have to be Enel Couture. They can be any full covered nails. You can literally go to the Dollar Tree and get a set of full covered nails for a dollar. Or you can do what I did and design them yourself. So we have the kawaii nails here ready. I have not prepped them yet, but I'm fixing to show you step by step what to do and how to do it and how to keep them on your nails. So, so the first thing you're going to want to do is push back your cuticles, prep your nails like you normally would. So this is how I do it. I take my cuticle pusher and I push back those cuticles first. Tell me down below if you still go to the nail salon and how much do you pay to get your nails done? Now if you have cuticle nip nippers, you can go ahead and cut off the dead cuticle because you want these nails to look professionally done. All right, once those cuticles are pushed back, go ahead and take your cuticle nippers or whatever you like to use to clip off the cuticle with. And if you have any that's dead, you can go around with this tool and it comes right off. See that? See that? Now you don't want to dig in too deep with these because it can cut your actual skin just to, just a little just to get off that dead stuff that you pushed back okay now this did take me some time to learn these little tools so you just got to be careful all right so once you're done with that you're going to take your you take your clippers and you're going to clip your nails down so I don't have a whole lot of nail right now but I am just going to clean them up a bit my nails are very short I keep them short because I always I always put nails on over the top I always use press on I mean I always use um these type of nails not necessarily press on but that's why I always keep them short all right so now the next step spray some isopropyl alcohol on there and just brush them off okay now we're gonna take a file you can use a sanding band you can use a sanding band you can use a diamond bit whatever or your e-file you know what I'm saying well I'm, I'm just gonna take the fine grit on the back of a McCart uh, nail file and you're gonna roughen up that uh, surface you're gonna roughen it up you're gonna get all the surface shine off those natural nails Okay, now just go ahead and brush that off. Either take an e-file and etch the surface right where your nail plate is gonna go, or take primer and etch the inside of this. That way it's gonna stick to your natural nail a lot better. You can even go up a little further depending how long your nail is. If you um, clipped your nails, you don't have to do a whole lot. You don't have to go up too high. All right, so the next step would be to make sure you have all your nails measured and that they fit from side to side. They fit at the cuticle really nice and they lay flat on your nail plate. If you get a sculpted nail like this and you have flat nail beds, it's probably not going to work that good. So but if you are someone with a higher apex a, a, a strong c curve in your nail 
the sculpted nails may work better for you. A sculpted nail has a stronger C curve and apex than a nail like this, just a regular nail. You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to point that out. So, ladies, don't use sculpted nails if you're doing press-ons unless you have a very strong C curve in your in your natural nail. We're gonna go ahead and take your glue. And I'm using the McCart nail glue. This, the, this is some absolutely amazing glue, you guys. It is awesome. And it's got a built-in brush. So it's really cool. And I'm going to take the glue. And what you're going to do, I've already done one. You're just going to brush that glue on the entire nail. You don't want to put too much glue, though. You don't want it to spill out everywhere. And then you're going to apply the nail and you're going to hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds. Long enough for that to adhere to your nail. Make sure it's pressing down. Make sure it's attached to your nail. If you do see any gaps when you flip it over, take that nail glue and go down in there with the nail glue. But you're going to press and hold it. And once it's secure, move on to the next nail. And press and hold. Okay, next one. Press and hold. These are so cute. I love these. And that's it. You can have a set of freaking awesome nails that you didn't have to go to the salon for right here at home, in your own home. And it will look like salon nails. Go ahead and take you some cuticle oil. And this will also get them ready for pictures if you'd like to take pictures. And you're just going to put a little bit around the cuticle area. Not a whole lot because you don't want to flood them. Okay, just a little bit. And then just rub that in. Rub that in. And they'll be picture ready. And they'll be ready for you guys to go out on the town. Birthday parties. A hot date. Whatever the occasion may be. Let me know what you guys think of the design, the little cute little kawaii design. I thought that was adorable of McCart to make this cute foil. Go check out McCart foil, the one that I showed you in the video. And the white gel polish is absolutely amazing. It's one coat coverage. I would definitely do two coats though just to be on the safer side. I only did one coat. You guys saw how that went. I did have a couple streaks, but I think it all looks pretty good so again everything will be linked down below hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know what your thoughts and opinions are let me know if you've ever done press on nails how long did they last and i will let you guys go if you want more videos like this with me making more press on nails let me know in the comments please give it a big thumbs up comment down below a kawaii emoji if there is one or like a little kawaii, like a little heart or something. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And y'all stay blessed. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Bye.